My name is Carna Millen, and I play trombone with the United States Coast Guard Band. It sounds like maybe you play the trombone too, which is absolutely wonderful. It's a great instrument, and let's talk a little bit about the basics of it. So when you get it in your case, there's going to be three main parts to it. You're going to have the bell part, you're going to have the slide part, and you're going to have the mouthpiece. So you take the slide, you take the bell, together and it'll take some some getting used to you'll figure out where you like to put the bell and then you make sure this is nice and tight so that it's not floppy you don't want the bell to flop over when you have the slide out make sure that it's locked you can unlock it obviously to move move the slide but when you're not using it just lock it it's a great habit to get into because it will fall on the floor and then you have to go get it fixed and that's a bummer um, when you're holding the instrument, take your left hand, wrap your finger around the top, and you're just going to hold like this. You probably won't have one of these, one of these triggers, and that's fine. So just find, find what's comfortable, what works um, with this hand. And then your right hand is going to be on the bottom part of this slide. So that way, two different hands. Now the most important thing about playing the trombone is going to be your air. It's a wind instrument, so it needs wind, it needs air. It's in the brass family. Um, so you're going to take a nice deep breath, you're going to have your body relaxed. Now of course, if you just take a breath, you're not going to get a sound. There has to be some sort of vibration or resistance. And what's going to make that is your lips. You're going to do that in the mouthpiece. This is actually good to practice just with the mouthpiece because I find it gets my air going and I find out how much air I really need to be putting it through to make a good sound. Because if you're not using enough air, it's certainly not going to translate to the trombone. So make sure that you're always taking a nice deep breath and that you're very relaxed. Um, it's good to just also play alone with the mouthpiece because it helps your ear hear what sort of notes, what sort of pitches you're trying to get. Um, so it's a good way to warm up, it's a good way to practice, it's a good way to cool down. You should always uh, be playing on just your mouthpiece as well as, as the whole trombone. Now, there's also a water key or a spit valve at the very bottom. You'll have to let that go occasionally when, you, when there's condensation that collects at the end. Um, that's another part to know about. Uh, there's also a tuning slide. This can move in and out. Um, and this will be for whether you're playing in tune with others. Um, your band director or your private teacher can help you uh, listen for that so you can, you can figure out where it is that that needs to be on your horn, because it's, it's in roughly different places for different players. Um, on the trombone, there are seven different positions. Seventh is way out here. Six. Five. Four is, is roughly right by the bell. So that's the cool thing about the trombone is you can kind of look at it and see where those notes are gonna gonna be and then there's higher notes and lower notes obviously so when you first try to play the trombone you're probably going to play one of three notes <laughs> find your way around the trombone like that. Um, now with my horn, I do have a trigger. I can press that down, and what that does is it rechannels the air through this tubing, which is equal to the amount of tubing that I would use with my slide in sixth position. So that might be a feature that you have on your horn or not. Either is okay. 
Um, the trombone is, in a band or an orchestra, usually the low voice. And so um, the trombone can play low notes, but it can also play high notes. Uh, you might hear... Or it can go very high. Um, and you'll work, you'll work higher and you'll work lower as you practice more. Um, you, you'll find that those notes get easier and easier. The other thing that you need to know about the trombone is that you do have to take care of it and you do have to clean it. Um, the slide, in order to move smoothly, needs to be greased or oiled. Oftentimes there will be a kit that comes with your trombone um, and it, it might have some of, some of that lubricant, it might have a spray bottle, it might even have a cleaning kit. I don't know. If you don't have any of those, they can easily be purchased at a local music store or online. But to put on the um, slide grease, you wipe off whatever old stuff is there just with a paper towel or a Kleenex or toilet paper. Um, and then you can put the new stuff on right, right here down at the bottom and then spray it with water. And that'll keep, keep your slide moving nice and cleanly. Also make sure and wash out your mouthpiece every once in a while. Things collect and it gets a little gross. Um, there is a mouthpiece brush that is specifically designed to get all the way down in there. And you can just clean it out in the sink. There's also another tool that can clean the inside of the slide, um, which you can do that every so often, and that'll keep your horn in tip-top shape. I'm so glad you've decided to play the trombone. I hope this was helpful. Please check out some of our videos. Uh, the Coast Guard Band has a lot of concerts online, and you will see the trombone section, as well as many other friends in the band, and I wish you the best. Thank you.